What is the hottest comic book of the week? Let's find out in this week's breakdown. Welcome back to another video. This really popped when I saw it. That to me is a monster increase. Again, this book got hot. This book is ready to go higher. So let's jump right into it. We are back today with another statue review from Diamond Select Toys. Without further ado, let's get into the review. What is good YouTube? This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles and welcome back to another video. Today we're back with another Hot 10 Breakdown. If you guys aren't familiar with what I do, I take the 10 hottest comics according to the Key Collector app and I let you guys know out there in the community if I'd be buying these books at these prices or definitely selling or staying away from these things. But before we get started, like we always do guys, if you're not a current subscriber of the channel, I want you to do me a favor and I want you to do yourself a favor. Go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. I am giving something away every thousand subscriber we hit from now from here on out that's right we're dangerously close to 4,000 subs and once we get there we're giving something awesome away but not only that guys i want you to hit that like button comment down below and of course share this with everyone out there in the community with that said let's get into this week's breakdown At number 10 on this week's list is a copy of Silver Surfer number 1 and the first Silver Surfer in his own solo title. And a CGC 2.0 just sold last week for 505 bucks, up 16% over that 12 month rolling average. Now you guys know I always prefer Fantastic Four number 48, the first appearance, but I gotta be honest, I absolutely love this book and love this Squarebound cover. If you guys don't know, Squarebound books have been harder to find in decent grades, and this one is always hard to come by. 100% I'm a buyer of this one. I can't wait for this Silver Surfer to finally show up in the MCU, and he's rumored to have his own series special at the beginning of next year. We'll see if that's true. Regardless, guys, you know I definitely want to own this book. Coming in at number 9 this week is a copy of Incredible Hulk number 102 and the first Hulk solo title after the first run of issues 1 through 6. So if you guys aren't familiar with this, Incredible Hulk 1 through 6 was the first 6 issues we saw of the debut of the Incredible Hulk. And unfortunately after that, kind of disappeared for a little bit and then went over to Tales to Astonish. But in issue 102, he appeared back in his own solo title, Incredible Hulk 102 with that said guys a cgc 7.0 just sold last week for 360 bucks up seven percent over that 12 month rolling average you guys know i'm definitely a buyer of this one i love silver age hulk and for me this one is still cheap enough to add back into the collection even at high grade 7.0 under 400 bucks to me that's a steal this cover is awesome by the way i believe it's also a starenko cover believe it or not regardless you know i'm adding this one it's definitely a buy at number 8 on this week's list is a copy of Tales to Astonish number 93 and this classic cover by Marie Severin. But this is also an iconic battle between the Silver Surfer and the Incredible Hulk. And a CGC 6.0 just sold last week for $310, up 7% over that 12-month rolling average. Another iconic cover, another classic battle. You guys know definitely for the price point. I want to own this book, right? Again, another book, about $300 for a decent 6.0 grade for a Silver Age key. I'm all over this one. Definitely a book I think it's worth adding with the Silver Surfer on the horizon. At number 7 on this week's list is a copy of Marvel Premiere number 47 and the first appearance of Scott Lang as the new Ant-Man with Ant-Man Quantumania right around the corner. It seems to me that all Ant-Man keys are shooting up in value, especially this one. It's been on the list for about a month now on the top 10 and it's creeping towards the top spot. With that said, guys, a CGC 9.6 just sold last week for 504 bucks, up 2% over that 12 month rolling average. Now you guys know I love this book. It's definitely a book I want to own in my collection. I've, I've owned a bunch of copies over the years. However, to pay $500 for a 9.6 copy is a little bit, to me, crazy. I mean, go out and get yourself a copy, a very fine 80 copy. You'll probably end up spending $150. Bucks. I don't think there's any need to spend $500 on a copy of this one. A nice, cool key. I want in the collection, but there's no way in hell I'm spending $500 on a first appearance of Scott Lang as Ant-Man. At number six on this list is one of my favorite all-time books. It is a copy of Iron Man number one and the first appearance of Iron Man in his own solo title. But this is also his classic origin story in a CGC 5.0. Just sold the prior week for 750 bucks of 9% 
over that 12 month rolling average now every time we talk about this book i always talk how this book is undervalued i believe i bought my issue which is signed by marv wolfen about four and a half years ago and i paid under 400 dollars for it it's nice to see this copy at a 5.0 almost closing in on a thousand or around 700 and change for a copy of this book still to me classically undervalued again for the first appearance of iron man and low grade you're probably looking at about eight thousand dollars so the first in its own solo title should definitely be worth more than this i'm not sure why it's not Either way, I want to own this book for whatever the amount is going to cost me. Under a grand, I still think it's a great buy. At number five on this week's list is a copy of Avengers number nine and the first appearance and death of Wonder Man. And we all know there's a new series about to show up on Disney Plus probably about next year. Regardless, guys, it's CGC 4.5 just sold last week for 425 bucks up 10 percent over that 12 month rolling average now this book has been on and off the list over the past six to seven months or so guys and every time it appears i tell you guys it is not worth buying again you heard it story right this is his first appearance and his death so i'm not sure how much marvel is going to get out of this character going forward in that disney plus show it might be a one and done thing i have no idea regardless i'm not spending 400 dollars on a first appearance of wonder man who knows what's going to happen later on in the future, but for me, I'd rather save that money and put it toward a bigger key. At the four spot this week is a copy of Swamp Thing number one and the first appearance and origin of the new Swamp Thing, Alec Holland. Finally, some new fresh books, fresh meat on this list for you guys and a CGC. 8.5 just sold the prior week for 375 bucks up 12 percent over that 12 month rolling average now you guys know i am a fan of the swamp thing but i don't want to spend close to 400 dollars in a really high grade copy of this one i'd rather take that 800 bucks and probably buy a mid-grade copy of his first appearance house of secrets 92 this book to me i've owned it in the past probably bought it about four to five years ago and then i turned around and tried to sell it a couple of years later and it took me forever to sell it and i really didn't make any money off of it to me i love the character i enjoy the book but i want to own his first appearance that to me is well worth picking up and i'm staying away from this one i just don't think it's worth it but i love the character and i hope dc starts using him right at number three on this list is what else it is a copy of man thing number one and the first appearance of man thing in his own solo title unlike last week and the week before and the week before that this is also the second appearance of howard the duck and right now cgc 9.6 just sold the prior week for 504 bucks up two percent over that 12 month rolling average you guys know i've been saying it for the past couple of months stay the hell away from this book it is all over ebay it is all over instagram and i even see it at some of my lcs's everybody is trying to unload this book right now and i'd be staying away not purchasing this book right now if you are a comic book collector hey let all the stuff die down with the man thing and if you want to buy this book after this one drops and it will drop then you can go ahead and buy this book for right now i'm staying away at number two on this week's list is a copy of star trek number one and this issue that was adapted from the original tv series and there may be rumors out there right now that there's a new star trek movie in development regardless guys a cgc 9.6 of this book just sold last week for 45,600 bucks up a whopping 124 percent since 2019 we're talking just three years a really high great issue of this book has almost doubled more than doubled actually from where it was just three years ago now i know there are a lot of really big star trek fans out there in our community and i gotta say to spend fifty thousand on a copy of this one just boggles my mind hey if you love something it's well worth it for you to go out and go ahead and grab it but for me i'm not a huge star trek fan so i'm not spending anywhere near that kind of money but if you buy them in lower grades i believe there was like a four row or a four or five that sold under a thousand dollars that may be worth it if you're a star trek fan either way buying a 9.6 for that kind of money I just couldn't fathom doing it, guys. And coming in at number one this week, finally some new meat hitting the top spot. It is a copy of Scooby-Doo number one and the first appearance of Scooby-Doo in comics. And a CGC 3.5 just sold last week for 750 bucks, up 20% since 2021. Now, this book has come out of nowhere to hit the top spot. I can't tell you why. I'm not sure if this book is scarce or not. All I can tell you is if you're a really big Scooby-Doo fan and you want to own this book, hell, go ahead and grab it to me. I love Scooby-Doo growing up, but I'm not really looking to collect the comics of this character. Enjoyed watching the cartoons when I was a kid, but other than that, I just can't see spending $750 on this book. It's just not worth it. 
That's it for the list this week, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Finally, we got some new books on the list this week. We still have some of the same stuff that's been showing up for the past couple of months, but regardless, I'm glad we finally got some new stuff. It is now time for my best buy of the week, and I'm going to go with Silver Surfer number one and the first Silver Surfer in his own solo title. That's right. I finally think that this book is going to start to take off a little bit. That and Fantastic Four number 48 as well. We got that rumor out there that he's going to show up in his own thing on Disney+. Plus. I hope that happens because there's no Fantastic Four without the Silver Surfer. And then, then you know who's going to show up after that, Galactus. So I can't wait for this character to finally show up. And I believe all these books are severely oversold. And right now they're due for a bounce. So definitely a book I'm looking to pick up. With that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this one. This is Lawrence over at Mighty Comics and Collectibles saying thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you guys soon.